So I'm recording this on Thursday, and as of right now, this information is correct. We've had two new sneakers this week. The first of these sneakers being the Tier 3 Aglet 1 High Lakers. They've got an efficiency rating of 475 when dead stocking, and 353 when using Sneaker Shine. Their total possible profit is 63k Aglet, and if you choose to use Sneaker Shine on them, your profit will be 47k Aglet. And now, the big boy, the Aglet 1 step timber this shoe would be a great tier three shoe but it's not it's a tier one shoe not that it's in any way a bad shoe it's a fantastic shoe and i'm really glad i have one just it's pretty rubbish to use sneaker shine with and you also need a tier one dead stock station to actually use it i don't know whether anyone's going to use it i might we'll see its efficiency when using sneaker shine is actually way in the negatives and that's purely because of the cost of tier one sneaker shine now its efficiency when dead stocking that's a whole different story I know this shouldn't really count as a regular aglet shoe, but I'm going to compare it against other regular aglet shoes. Now, as we know, the cost of this shoe is absolutely nothing. Just the winners from the step competition in first, second, and third place got this shoe gifted into their account. Now, the most efficient regular aglet shoe that is purchasable is the aglet one sprint coming in with an efficiency rating of 521 the aglet one september 1400 now that's purely because it costs nothing the total possible profit from the shoe is just under 230k aglet now if we take in the purchase price of the shoe the total possible profit is 110 k and that would still make it the most profitable regular aglet shoe on the game so this aglet one september is nothing to turn your nose up at like i said i doubt many will wear this shoe but it might do it one day wear it down to its final wear and keep it 100 percent who knows it's a lot of aglet to just leave sitting there isn't it but other than that it's been quite a slow week so i'll see you when i see you please do excuse my super scruffy look i've just finished work and i'm about to head out and hit up some dead stock stations but first i want to talk about this Reebok drop that we got coming up tomorrow. We have three Reebok questions coming. We have the Reebok question Boktobers, the Reebok question X Minions, and finally the Reebok question Iverson X Harden. The Minions one is a gold aglet shoe, but I'm interested to see if the other two are good grinders. We'll have to see tomorrow. Anyway, let's go to these dead stock stations. <laughs> So the three shoes have dropped, the Question Minions, the Question Boktobers, and the Question Iverson X Harden. We had a bit of lag on this drop, and that's probably down to some back-end issues. Batman said it was Google servers, but as you can see from this video next to me, this is what was happening over and over, until I was finally able to cop. Firstly, I'm going to talk about the shoe that I was trying to cop, the Iverson X Harden Questions. There's only 800 and it's quite a cheap shoe, so I expect them to sell out pretty fast. It sits right around the Terex 2 Ultra Parley, in terms of efficiency when using Sneaker Shine, making you over 6.5k aglet that way. When dead stocking, it sits around a load of tier 3s, such as the Nike Sakai Blue Multi and the Jordan 5 Supreme Desert Camo. When dead stocking, these shoes make you 9,000 aglet in profit. But personally, I'd recommend using the Seek Shine method as you'll earn your aglet a lot faster and then be able to move on faster to better shoes. Now the Reebok Question Boktobers. This is a tier 2 shoe so I'd really recommend not using Sneak Shine on them. They aren't the greatest shoe we've had in the game but they're definitely up there. They sit right around the Aglet 1 High Dire Walls in terms of dead stock efficiency and last week I was boosting those up as a good shoe so you know they've got to be quite good. The Question Boktobers require 25,000 less steps than the Aglet 1 High Dire Walls and they'll bring you in about 50k Aglet in profit and due to the high cost of the sneakers I don't think they're going to sell out anytime soon. Finally, the Reebok question, X Minions. Personally, if you really wanted to go for these, I'd recommend the Tiana Taylors over the Minions. Firstly, they cost less. Secondly, they're more efficient. They require 20,000 less boost rate steps than the Minions. Now, obviously this comes at a price that Tiana Taylors earn you about 20,000 aglet less, but because you get it a lot faster, it's probably worth it to people. That high durability, makes a difference but batman did say something in the discord earlier on just after these shoes dropped and what he said piqued my interest i told second place team competition winner dirt to save his aglet and not buy the minions or the tiana taylors taji then responded saying there's no option for that you need them all for the 100 percent collection then i can't remember what was actually said by batman because it's been deleted but basically what he said is a collection feature is in the works and that is something I'm super excited about. Who knows what it'll be? Maybe it'll be like a sticker book or like a Pokemon card collection. Who knows? But that's all we have for today. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment and a like. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.